Hi guys, what's going on and welcome to Total War Three Kingdoms, the 8 Princes DLC. So I am currently playing with Sima A. Um, we're going to be doing this like it's a little bit of a sort of a mini let's play series, but kind of with a less step by step um, and kind of a little bit in a broader sense. So I started this campaign um, actually initially just for my review of 8 Kingdoms. And I enjoy playing with Sima A and um, one of the channel followers did some nice guides for me to sort of help me get started and help me carry on. Um, and I was going to restart and then I thought it would be kind of interesting to have a slightly more late game uh, let's play. So we're actually going to be carrying on from where we are. So to take a sort of a bit of a broader view overview of where we are, things are going pretty well. So we've basically secured our sort of southern and eastern border down here. Um, you can see these are all abandoned provinces. So there's currently no one occupying any of these, so I don't need to worry about them. And I'm trying to push through, um, up if we look at diplomatic status, up into Gungshen at the moment. And I want to try and conquer the provinces sort of around here. We could do a bit more with Jakan, uh, I don't know, but I don't think there's a lot of point at the moment. We're going to deal with these and then start to push up this frontier over here. Um, so we can end up with like hopefully a pretty large empire. Economically, things are going pretty well. We're pretty well stocked in terms of supplies and stuff. Um, but we've got a lot of um, stuff that needs upgrading still here. And we're starting to develop a lot of public order problems in a lot of these places. So we've still got a bit to do around some of these. Um, so let's start to take a look at where we are and other things. We've also got things like, um, I think our Reformation is currently going down. I'll change this turn uh, plus seven. So that's good. So we're still going increased Reformation. Because currently we're, we're quite a long way behind. We could do with really getting getting that up a little bit more, something we need to work on building wise. Um, but let's start to have a look at what we've got. So we've got a minus six there, that would give us more noble support, but does that really help us? Not massively. A minus one food as well. I don't know if food is certainly an issue, it was nothing we need to deal with. That would give us another plus one food, so that would take us back to zero. Do we have anything else that can give us any food? Uh, plus four. 25% uh, food supply for two reformation. How much food are we producing? Only five. That's not really enough, is it? We're always going to be a bit short on food here. I think we'll probably go for the upgrade there and take the reformation hit. Let's go to our next province. Uh, public order is decent. Food is zero. Most income from industry, actually. Interesting. Uh, what do we have? Again, food production increased, but for a reformation hit. Which is what everything seems to really, uh, really give me. Do we getting uh, that upgraded? Couldn't be for the more, uh, more food production. Probably going to hold off against doing anything on this one then. Probably won't build anything there. Uh, there's upgrading. Over here, what do we have? Um, another food production one there. What's the food situation? Plus one at the moment. Where's that food coming from? Uh, mostly from the fishing port. Yeah, it'd be useful to get that upgraded, isn't it? Well, regional city first. We're well, quite a long way off getting that upgraded, and I don't want to. The amount of food loss I'll get just taking up the city will be uh, unnecessarily large. So for now, then, I'll probably do nothing because unless I do that, but then it gives minus six food production. Food is our real big problem here, really, um, and we're lacking quite a bit negative um, on the noble support front. Because we are minus six faction support and two from buildings. It would give us more noble support for reformation loss, so I guess that's what we're going to have to do. Damn! And then finally, over at Yulin, uh, it's upgrading the city. And we've got a spice market to capture. Okay. We obviously have our main army down here. Uh, this was in a battle uh, this turn, so we're not going to be able to use it really much. But we'll then keep pushing and push on to Yulin from that once that one's done. That should sort us out down there. Uh, is there any other sort of mini commanderies that need any other work? I think hopefully we're okay there. Uh, Ling Yang was the one I actually checked in on and there wasn't anything worth upgrading, so we'll leave that. Now, we do have an army uh, over here in the garrison centre, but given our income is now getting quite high, I think we're going to start having a bit of a recruitment drive here. See if we can kind of get some of this to work. But I want someone who's both different, which is why I was thinking this, this lady here, commander, preacher, um, works well together, so hopefully that's worth the investment. And obviously we'll certainly be having a bit more on the recruitment front. Uh, we'll probably have infantry of Jin because they're pretty good. 
And then we'll probably have to arch a gin if I can. Which I can. Um, and then it's crippling me fairly badly financially, but let's see if there's anyone else who works together well. Is one more. Remain We're just going for a big old recruitment drive. How much they cost? 200 per turn. Damn, they're expensive, aren't they? Mounted archers. Archers of Jing are just awesome. I'll have two more of them. I know it's giving us a very archer intense army. Then we'll just stump up the cost. Sod it. And that's going to give us a full good stack there, um, out there. And then we're going to go to war with one of these guys around here, I think. So, that should be pretty much everyone. New general, what details do you need? Have you actually got promotion or something? Oh, I could just give you um, one of these equipable followers or something. That as well. What accessories could you have? Uh, satisfaction. No point giving you off cavalry. You can have a noble support one if you like. Start to earn a few new uh, bits of new stuff. Next turn. Cool. Wait for that to tick over. So yeah, so we're not got too much involved in wars, and we're becoming one of the strongest factions in the game now. So things are actually looking pretty good for us. We give regular payment for um, a non-aggression pact with the Jin Empire. Well, I'm going to reject that for now. It's not really something I'm interested in. Partly because we are starting to head towards rivaling the Jin, Jin Empire, even though we're not quite here yet. We do have a nice little coalition with some of our people up to the north. Um, those guys are flat on, full on the retreat. So I say things aren't looking so bad for us. We'll flatten this spice market. Two spice markets. Form the coalition, that's fine. Invited some people into the coalition, and we got a um, uh, a uh, the success there. Okay, so we just got to control the capital and the road to the capital, and we reach the rank of Grand Prince. We've still got a way to go from that for that one to be done. Uh, firstly, let's just have a quick look at the commanderies, see what's what's what. Grading, obviously here into the constructive but I'm not really going to bother with that. Uh, morale is good. Obviously Ling Ling, same problem. Nothing we can really do because of the food situation. We'll start to get some of these more things upgraded. Down here we are neutral on terms of loss on there. Ah, oh, it looks like we've got a new building. We really need this to be everything to do with food. But it doesn't really much much in the way of food building buildings. Have it workshops. Uh, what do we get? Noble support, negative, but minus corruption. Hmm. We need public order increase, really. Then that costs us reformation. The Confucian temples uh, don't really help us at all. Hmm. We will get a livestock farm there at some point, probably, so that might help. We don't want to do any of these. I don't think these are going to help in terms of reformation, certainly not. Anything like a school. Now, noble support and plus reformation. That might be useful. Noble support, no reformation. Yeah, that's probably the best one. So it's going to give us. cost a little bit of upkeep per turn, but I can deal with that. We have the money. Let's do that. Plus reformation, character experience, and noble support. Build a school! <laughs> Sorted. Over to Yulin. Uh, they've also got... My car not going to stop that. Hmm. There are no slots available. It just says there's a slot available. What to be wrong with you? Um, hmm. Don't know what's what's going on there. That will lose his noble support. Mm, not really what we want. Uh, they've gone a bit wrong here, hasn't it? It's level four city. I don't know. I think it's become a bit broken. Should be broken. In the meantime, move out with our army. To basically just to you, to be honest. Oh. Why did you go the long way around? That's annoying. Why didn't you just go straight to maybe because that was a zone of control? I should have uh, should have attacked that more directly. Oh well, not the end of the world. Um, so they're all carrying on. They're all okay. They all get along. Obviously, how's the recruitment on our other army going? 
Bah, very strong. That will be done next turn. So who are we going to be going to war with? Uh, so we could go like Wang Xu. Probably the obvious one. March out. I don't actually issue my declaration yet. I just wanted to see the route I need to take to get there. We might as well go into uh, force march. To be honest, didn't we? No. Might as well go into force march. To be honest, like that. Um, and then we'll cross the cross the boundary next turn and declare war against them. Cool. So that's that. Are you still as broken as you were before? Yes. Um, I don't really want to be doing that. It really help me that much. Maybe it's too small the city, but then you're just going to get worse food production situation. So we could maybe convert this to one that produces food. Do any of them produce food? Vice trading port, industrial cargo port, coastal trading town. No, a single dribble of food. Helpful. Next turn. Some more way. Need the various people to tick through. Um, coalition to defeat the Bavarians. Um, oh, I think it's just rejected. Not yet. Automatically rejected. It couldn't really matter what I said. There are some of our allies to the north. They've acted kind of as a nice block for me. They keep getting involved in wars and stuff themselves, but it's not something that I'm really interested in. And for now, I'm having my own expansion and trying to consolidate my own position without really needing to worry about what they're doing. So, let's keep moving our army up. We can actually probably now get in here. It looks like it's going to be quite a close fight, to be honest, for Yulin. Um, because they have quite a large amount of people to deploy. That's some fairly decent units, actually. An awful lot of archers. Well, we'll starve them out, anyway. Strike as one. And we'll keep waiting for them. Um, and then we'll attack them next turn. Or whenever they want to attack us, if they don't want to attack, I assume they'll probably sally forth next turn, to be honest. We'll kind of see what they do based on that. Yeah, something's got really broken here. I've obviously got a building slot that I shouldn't have, maybe. Because maybe it's a level 4 city when it should be a level 5 or something. Hmm. Really strange one, that one. Um, so the food situation has been rectified here. Still getting plus 9 on the Reformation. We don't have any spare assignment, I don't think, at the moment, which we don't, which is fine. Uh, get some more food at the cost of labour. Someone's been promoted. The court noble. Um, I don't think there's going to really be a lot you can do. Building up keep at least has the potential to be very slightly useful. Uh, okay. So these. Ah, because I left them in that wrong mode. Oh, that was stupid. What a fool. From there, and they'll be pretty much uh, fully uh, ready next turn. That was kind of an obvious one, uh, a bit of a silly mistake. Uh, I can ambush them. I can't cap them. Okay, leave them there. Should have waited a little bit longer. They weren't. They weren't quite ready. Um, so we decided we didn't want anything there. What about here? Uh, no, not really anything worth building, is there? Epi, we couldn't. Yulin, we couldn't. Add on the own. Oh, that's just all other commanderies in general. Blimey. Okay, <laughs> time to start going through that list. Uh, okay. Mm, pretty happy with all that. And actually, we're still looking pretty good. Um, we can, I think we can get another another request. Get some more satisfaction and stuff out of that if needed. Uh, diplomatically, I think we still have all our uh, trade routes, although it's still suspended with the Jin Empire, which is kind of annoying. I guess it's because the Jin Empire has sort of been pushed back. Uh, that's a bit strange, but there we go. Next turn. Been a bit of a preparation turn for the last few. I think they will attack out from here. They kind of have no choice because they're just going to slowly starve otherwise. We should have a few. They'll give me 1280 if they give them a non aggression pact. Who are you? Shima Yan. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Bit of there. Yep. That's fine. Rational Not going to go that way. 
not for not for a while anyway. I think we'll probably be threatening the Jin before then. I don't think they're ever going to really come onto our radar. So as we suspected, they are sallying out. They've obviously taken some um, casualties in terms of starvation, but we shall uh, give them uh, give them a best shot on the battlefield here and see what we can do about taking them on. I think we'll give it a give it a fair shot. Hopefully, we should be able to at least anyway. This one is certainly going to take a while to load in, I think. I think it's actually going to take a really quite a long while to load in. I'm somewhat worried about my... Uh, I'm still unfortunately stuck on my laptop at the moment because it's been, uh, been waiting like three weeks now for my graphics card to come back from my desktop, but it's still not returned. And like it, it's currently like 32 degrees here in the UK. It's really quite warm. My laptop is not tremendously happy about running through kingdoms and trying to record at the same time while sat in a very, very hot little shed. <laughs> so I've got as many fans on the whole thing as I can. I'm worried about it overheating slightly, so I'm just propping it up a little bit more to try and give it as much ventilation as it can possibly get. I'm not sure how it's going uh, how it's going to fare. But hopefully this will load in shortly, get this battle done, get these guys slaughtered, um, and then we can capture this town, and that would be really those guys broken them and defeated properly. We should be able to defeat them. We have much, much better heroes than them, even though they outnumber us slightly. I think they're going to have an absolute ton of archers um, against us, but we should still be able to give them a pretty, pretty fair form for the money. We have 200 cavalry as well, so that shouldn't probably be a massive problem for us. We should have some archers of Jing as well, which have the extra ammo, which is handy. Um, and of course, we have our leader as well, which we have Sima A here with us, so shouldn't have thought it would be too much of a problem for us, hopefully. That is, of course, if it actually ever loads in, which, given its current state, seems to be uh, somewhat unlikely. Come on. <laughs> For sake. <laughs> Too long to load. Hey, continue. Not there in the end. Um, so, cool. Uh, some like crappy G militia. We just want archers. Uh, off skirmish on to guard. So then, pretty much everyone who's an infantryman of some description, sword guard, so my cavalry, you're going to form a um, second squad, and it's just going to be a, uh, an infantry unit. We're, of course, on the defensive here, so that's fine by me. Cavalry of the third unit. And they're going to go on a flank. And basically everyone else. Did we have someone who did... Uh, oh, it's his duelling. He's an excellent duelist, he is. Uh, range block chance increase. So I'll stick him in the middle because it'll give my archers a run for the money. Ready. Some of my heroes are slightly damaged. We start the battle. Are they going to fall back to regroup? They are. That's fine. That's forward. I'll slightly turn. Face them. I'm kind of happy waiting on this plane to be honest. You can move forward slightly, but they have the slight uphill advantage and I'm happy for them to come to me. They're the ones who actually have to attack in this instance, so So it is not really a problem for me to wait. Although that's it if I actually are going to attack. Which is a little bit of an if. Move up this uh, first sort of clearing. Somewhere like that. Still enough room to maneuver. Not too many trees, but a few. Okay, here they come. We went far behind, we ended up being out of position. <laughs> Be annoying. Uh, what they've they got? He's one of my favourite people at the moment. You could do with some uh, slightly better equipment though. One's out of range, uh, one doesn't want to duel. That's like someone's sort of stuck on a tree or something. <laughs> uh, how much range have we got for those archers? Not enough. Send this guy out just to see if I can force anyone to duel for me.
Go on, draw me. Fight me, cowards. I will defeat you. Hey. Ooh, he's got a lot of health, hasn't he? Oh, he's not as useless as many power four. Ooh, we've both got pretty. I'm sure be fine. I might come to regret this, Joel. I don't want my guy to die, I like him. He does get his bonuses though. Which I'm hoping the other guy doesn't. He's building uh building buffs. I shall reclaim my own. Do not waste your breath. Some minor amount of regret going on here. Um okay, let's start to get some some, some damage in on these arch militia. Focusing fire, focusing fire, please people. Jesus, a lot of archers. Come on, let's get the damage in. There we go, it's a little bit more like it. Come on, archers! Fire everything! <laughs> get these archer militia ratting, because we're just our poor G militia are just taking a really hammer. Go on, those guys. Well they shatter. You are a fool to come back. Still a pretty Shut close duel. But he should be getting his full buff, should be starting to stack. Yeah, he's on to phase 5. Gives him a pretty good booster uh, melee damage, that does. That makes him so nice, his melee power gets. Okay, Archer Captain! Kill it! Kill it with. Not with fire, but kill it with arrows! Um, we're getting a little bit far forward here, we've got to be a bit careful. Okay, pull back. You for this insult. Poor I have had a bit of a rough time with this because I've just kind of been a bit, bit neglecting at the moment slightly. Go on, try and kill that guy then. Everyone else. Our brother is under attack to them. Um we should be starting to get the upper hand of this jewel now, I would have thought. Go on, let's try and deal with these dozen. Oh, I should smash those archers. Wavering. Go on. Go on. Quick, you know you want to. Uh, okay, so we should all be engaged across the board. I am. Being a bit uh, very good in terms of troop management here. Uh, must go for charging these guys because if we can get the charge in, we'll do a load of damage on the charge. Smash, smash, to smash, smash. Uh, this duel continues. It's still pretty close. I've not really got the upper hand to be honest. Not as much as I actually kind of had hoped. Um, plus morale. You know, the extra damage we how should have should in theory really give us the upper hand here. We had less health at the start, so I think the fact that we're now getting close on health suggests that we should be pretty good. Words are as pathetic as you are. Stand by the enemy warriors are running. Ha! Come on, let's push along the lines. Push along now, people. Ready. Get those crossbows down. Ready. Move. Get these guys stuck in down the here. Yeah, we're getting the upper hand there. That'll be fine. Wasn't exactly a quick killing jewel, but still. These guys are just murdering some saber militia, and that's fine. That's what they, uh, what they fancy. Take down a few of those arch captains as we run. Cavalry had a bit of a hard time of it. So let's keep going on down there. Bit of splash damage, why not? Uh, some of these guys are getting very well stuck in. Shoot him if we can. Get our axe band stuck in. I hadn't realised he was uh, still alive. I kind of thought he was dead to be honest. And that's the enemy leader though, to be fair. Uh, okay, we're definitely going to win that. Oh god, even my cavalry is having a bit of a hard time of it now. I'm stuck at all these crossbows. Bloody hell. Ugh. <sighs> Never an easy life. Um, okay, cool. Go for those saber infantry. What? 
Why is he full health? Heal a map. What? Okay, yeah, you're gonna have to retreat. Justice at last will be served. Um, can you escape? Make ready. You I don't see why I should. Oh, survive, man, survive. Where's my cavalry? You engage in the fight. He's making a run for it. Um, no, he didn't want to fight. <laughs> Poor man, I don't know how he got... I, I didn't expect him to have a 12k heal. That's so overpowered. That was crazy that he got that. I don't know how he got that. He's retreated just from uh, worrying about it. But still. Jesus. I thought I was going to have him and then he got a 12k heal. How did that come from? Well, that was actually a bit of a tougher fight than I thought it was going to be. Our archers got plenty of kills. 142, yeah. And the cab did pretty well against the enemy archers as well. Ah, still, it didn't go quite as well as I was hoping, to be honest. I thought things might go a little bit better than that. Still, we got away with it. Victory is a victory, even if we didn't do... We're a bit cowardly in it. Um, ancillaries gained. Um, we'll probably go for the replenishment, to be honest. I certainly need it. We'll capture it next turn. Nice samurai, the finest armour. Because we've got that weaponsmith. Uh, ah, let me do this little... Army. Details. Um, what options do we get? Capturing enemy officers. Increased rate of fall and settlement damage during sieges. Enable fire arrows. That could be useful. Uh, income from industry. Um, what's that? Um, ignore fondness penalties. Avoiding ambush. Uh, food. Fire arrows, probably. Yeah. Fire arrows are always cool. We have three units of archers in that unit. I want to see what the fire arrows kind of work like. Um, so is she actually ready to attack here? Not quite full strength. And considering we're going to be fighting a full strength force, I think we'll probably wait for her to be fully recruited. Um, over here, we can expect to win then. Our cause is just and noble. Uh, attack. And we'll just delegate that out and get that done. Nice, easy victory. Easy, easy, easy. Each victory brings stability to the realm. And then occupy it. Prosper for the better under my rule. Clarity cool. So that gives us a spice market. Level five spice market. Ultimately, what does that give us? Income spice plus sixty-five percent income all spice. Okay, cool. And there's a tra and we have a trading port in this place as well. Uh, doesn't help me with food though, but still. Still, still, still. Um, that'll give us quite a boost to uh, boost to the income probably for that province. They're all healing up. Um, no promotions that turn. I want to open this guy since I thought he was going to be quite good at dueling. Okay, open it. Here. These are details tab. A settlement move. Uh, what weapon does he have? Is there anything that can do more damage? 147. Only attack rate 30. Not an amazing weapon, is it? And weapon damage. Oh, my piercing is a lot lower. Hmm. It's a really crappy selection of weapons, really. Uh, does not have any beneficial horses? He currently has that. Gives him expertise level into a peasant tree. Hmm. Morale from melee cavalry. Hmm. Nothing I can really upgrade him with, is there there? Okay, that's fine. Uh, you have got one more turn waiting. Let's have a look at my various commandries. You know why we can't upgrade you. You're having a food crisis. 
Let's do some reason you can't build anything. That's really frustrating. I don't understand why. Ah. Uh, what does this actually give me? Like nothing even. I think it's because this building shouldn't exist. I've got stuck with it. I, think I just found a bug basically. I can't destroy it and I can't upgrade it. <laughs> can, I, can I knock it down please? But I don't seem to be able to. And they all hit me. So, so going about as well as you would expect. Uh, yeah, that's not going to be more of a problem at some point in the future I think. Uh, up here they also hit me. We could upgrade, we could no mobile support and food production. We need to do that really. Okay, that's very various, various upgrades. They still action points, but we know. And next turn we're going to go to war against Huang Jing. Uh, which should be an easy fight, hopefully. I don't think they've got a massive amount of territory or anything. No, I mean, I'm starting war against someone who's absolutely enormous. I just didn't realise it. But no, I think that's pretty pretty minor. I don't think it's going to be that problem. Uh, not for that little minor amount. I don't know who you are, but I might want to crush you at some point. That might have been you. I definitely not want to... Uh, not aggression patch you because you will be attacked. Shimazong, East Treaty. Um, I'm about to patch development. A remarkable talent. Mind alignment. Uh, bonus experience, but treasury down. Uh, oh, okay, so it's um, treasury, mind, spirit, and might. Hmm. Campaign movement speed, um, more research rate would be useful, certainly. So, probably mind alignment. How close are we to the next one? Oh, we might actually even make it. Hello. Hey, we got to the next level, which boosts our research rate, which is pretty handy. We now should be researching a little bit faster. Um, so we've still got quite a few things to unlock around here. The main thing is we need is food upgrades. We've got the uh, we've got that one to give us food production upgrades. Is there anything else that's going to help with construction costs, uh, replenishment cost, garrisons? Just ten percent. Oh, plus ten percent replenishment. Administrative institutions available assignments. Mm, spy is not particularly useful. Ammo for units recruitment costs. I think we're going to probably go for the minus corruption or that one. What's that? Not one that's particularly useful. Mining permanent heavy lands coin maker. Eh. Uh, eh. Uh, minus corruption is kind of handy. Available assignments. Might be able to stick someone on a food one. Okay, let's go with that. We'll, we'll run with it. Um, these guys they should they should really fall quite easily. Um, I think that's the last place they have here. Yeah, that's the capital. Look, I'm pretty sure that's all they've got left here. Um, I'm gonna have problems with public order here. Garrison helps, but not enough. Eh. Mm, 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 mm. Why is that spicing come so low? Hmm. Strange. Sh do I want to move this army out? Should I give it another turn? I'll give it another. I'll give it another turn. These guys should now be ready. They are. They're basically what? To be fair, they can probably just that this turn, to be honest. Shout fury. Oh god, we're actually pretty heavily outnumbered there. With the full army and the garrison. Oops! I may have just gone fucked up. G militia. Hmm. I might have overreached myself a little bit there. Um. Ha! <laughs> yeah, damn it. Uh, okay. Let's see. Pretty. Yeah. Uh, uh. Uh. I haven't done that. Well, it is what it is, we're in for it now. Um, oh, they do have a large town as well. Yeah, damn it. 
Well, no point worrying about it now. We've done it. <laughs> Damn it. You create problems for myself. Um, okay, that's all that. Uh, what is it down here that could be upgraded? Ah, this is going to give us a bit. Food production! At no, no cost. Well, buy a little bit of upkeep cost, but I'm happy to pay that. Oh, glorious. Glory be. So, uh, three options here. Oh, that's the broken one. Now uh, we can upgrade this tea. Oh, yeah, more fa food! <laughs> All these food options are just glorious. Um, these are all fine, but these ones are annoying because I've just broken it. I just don't think there's anything I can do about it. I don't think there's any other way to demolish a building. Pressing backspace doesn't do anything. Broken it! Next turn. We're definitely going to get attacked by those people this turn. Uh, yeah. That one's going to be a tough fight, I think. No uh, no. Nah, I'm not interested. Uh, we don't really need peace with these people. We have two full stacks now. We could easily afford a third full stack. Although I'd rather just have the money for the moment. Uh, I don't really want... Coalition to defeat. Invite to coalition. But you, where are you then? Where is he? I'd rather just reject it to be honest. I am but they, you see the benefits. ah, resigned anyway. Except for anyway. Okay, how long have we been recording for? Probably long enough. I think we'll probably save this battle for the next episode of this one because this one is certainly going to be a tough one. But anyway, thank you for watching, guys. Hopefully you have enjoyed this first episode in this series. As I say, it's going to be a little bit different. Uh, we'll do things a little bit different. We won't necessarily follow each one on directly. It will kind of be a natural progression. Um, and then as things exciting happen, we'll kind of do updates videos through this campaign. We sort of vie to become the main force in China of the Eight Princes. Anyway, let me know what you think in the comments down below about this series. Subscribe to the channel for lots more Total War content. I shall see you guys all 